Summary reports are a quick, easy way to capture your overall feedback and provide evidence of a student's learning journey. First, you'll create a summary report template for your class that can be used as much as you need in the future. Click the Reporting tab in your toolbar at the top of the screen and create a summary report. Give your summary report a title, along with any section headings you want to add. Enter in your overall feedback in the default summary box. The default summary is where you could, for example, explain what the entire class did for that reporting period or provide specific details about a core subject. You can choose your content fields by selecting either assessment, photos, or both. When you begin marking the students you've tagged in this template, you'll see that the assessment area creates a text box where you can leave specific notes about each student in relation to what they learned that reporting period. You will also be given the option to attach photos directly from the portfolio that reflect the student's level of understanding in that area. Once you've created your template, you can choose your students. All the students in your class will be selected by default, but you can adjust this by clicking Change to select only the specific students you wish to include. Press Save once everything is to your liking and you're done creating your summary report template. You will then be redirected back to your class page where you'll see a number of different options you can use in addition to posting. To complete a summary report for a student or if you notice anything in the view area you wish to change, you can click Edit. Once you're finished, click Post. If you aren't ready for this to be public quite yet, you can select Save Draft to keep it private until you're ready. Click View to see an example of what this summary report will look like. Once you've viewed the summary report and are happy with it, you can print it right from this view. Keep a hard copy of your report by clicking Print. You will then be brought to your Print Preview. Create a digital copy of your report by clicking Make PDF. Once it's ready, click Download PDF to save the report to your computer. To share the PDF, you must first post the summary report as opposed to having it saved as a draft. Click Share to send the PDF as a highlight to the student's parents. We also have bulk tools that will allow you to perform some of these actions for an entire class at once. If you have multiple drafts that you're ready to share, you don't have to post each one individually. Click Post in the top right hand corner of the class page to open a selection screen that will allow you to choose multiple drafts to post at once. Next to the Bulk Post button, you'll also see the option to bulk print. Clicking Print will open a Print Summary Report screen where you can select certain or all summary reports to print. 